What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here for the next part in the in-depth analysis of the BISC Decentralized Exchange. And today we will focus our discussion on the BSQ token, which we have just briefly talked about in the last episodes, uh, but so far skipped all this valuable information. And don't worry, this is, in my opinion, not a shitcoin, which is, in my opinion, rather rare. This is actually something really compelling and absolutely worth further study. Uh, so what specifically is this BISC token? Well, for this, I am going to share the screen uh, of the white paper, well, it's a black paper <laughs> on my dark background, of the Phase Zero, a plan for bootstrapping the BISC DAO. We're going to talk about the BISC DAO in one of the future shows. Uh, and a link of the, for this is in the description, of course. And there is this subchapter here on the BSQ token. And basically what B BSQ is, it is a colored coin. Uh, so this means that there are, or in total, BISC got donated 25 Bitcoin uh, in the early days of the project. Uh, and specifically, they picked 2.5 of these Bitcoin and added some additional consensus rules that are not being enforced by the Bitcoin core clients on the Bitcoin network, but rather these specific set of consensus rules are only adhered to by BISC clients, by clients who have downloaded the, Bitcoin, uh, the BISC software. And among some other rules, uh, it is basically saying that these 2.5 Bitcoin or these uh, 250 million Satoshis represent just 2.5 million BSQ. It's a rather simple consensus rule. Uh, or it's basically saying that 100 Satoshis represent one BSQ token. And this just is a rule that is being enforced. And these Satoshis, of course, have a market value as pure Bitcoin. But on top of that, they might have uh, some additional value because individuals can use this specific Satoshi, not just in the Bitcoin network, but also in the BISC network. So because you can add some additional functionalities to this BSQ token, it might be more valuable, or most likely it is going to be, more valuable than just 100 Satoshis. And there are different use cases that you can do uh, with, the, with BISC. Well, first of all, as we have seen in the last uh, shows, you have to pay a tiny transaction fee uh, to a arbitrator and to the BISC DAO uh, for using uh, and for exchanging Bitcoin on the BISC decentralized exchange. And one utility function of BSQ is that you get a discount on this fee when paying it with BSQ and not with Bitcoin. That's optional, right? In the last trades, we have paid the fee with Bitcoin, uh, but we could have saved a little bit uh, if we would have paid in BSQ. So this is one really uh, cool function, actually. Uh, then further, though, there is there is some really nice other features that you can do uh, up here in the DAO tab, uh, which we will talk about much more later, uh, because once you then have a couple BSQ tokens, you can use these in a voting cycle. Okay, so for voting, what the, B the BISC DAO uh, is doing just in general, uh, you can use your BSQ as a stake. And as you earn these BSQ, especially by contributing to the project, uh, those that contribute the most have access to the BSQ and thus can vote on important subjects uh, that are in regard to the BISC DAO. And there are different open proposals that you can see, that you can see right here. Um, and one, for example, is here a compensation request. And this compensation request specifically, we will look into this entire process much more in detail, but this is requesting 1,860 1, BSQ. Uh, so that is uh, 1.8 million Satoshis that have the additional functionality of being BSQ tokens, okay? And ultimately, uh, those that already have DBSQ because they have issued such compensation requests now can vote on whether Devin here is going to get additional BSQ. 
uh, and the entire process of how this actually functions. And we will talk about much more uh, here in the future. Um, but these are just the basics of the BSQ token. It is a colored coin, so it's on top of the Bitcoin network. It has some additional use cases. First, it can be a cheaper way of paying for transactions on the BISC exchange. And second, it can be used in the governance of the BISC DAO. And I would highly suggest that you go to the BSQ, to the BISC YouTube channel and watch a couple of the videos there that are made with Manfred and, and other peers here on the network who go much more in depth on what exactly this BSQ token is, how it works, and why it is actually needed. And again, I can only highly recommend uh, that you look into the, uh, the BISC Phase Zero white paper uh, written by Chris Beams and Manfred Carver, uh, two of the creators here of, of BISC and uh, very valuable contributors, uh, which goes exactly, of course, in the DAO itself, but then specifically in the BSQ token. Uh, that's a very, a very valuable white paper. And again, I can only suggest uh, that you check it out and see if you take some value out of that. Uh, so, Piers, that's it for now. Uh, again, uh, these are short videos and we could talk for hours about all this. And we have and we will continue to. Uh, but just as a brief overview on what the BSQ token actually is. Piers, thank you very much for joining me here and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.